So I'm at Great Lakes Crossing. It's one of the biggest uh, outlet malls in Metro Detroit. And I'm just basically asking people what they feel or how they feel about Mike Jeffries, the CEO of Abercrombie & Fitch, hating on big girls. He's not a good looking man himself. Now you used to work there. Did they used to like, did you guys used to treat Mike Jeffries like he was God? Oh yeah, we have to. We had to like pretty much worship him, but like he wasn't that cool of a guy. No one ever even met him anyway, except for some of the managers, but they all bragged about how cool he was and how much fun it was, but. I'm trying to do Fitch the trash, so <laughs> you know what I mean? Like hashtag Fitch the trash, you basically get your Abercrombie clothing and throw it in the trash. Yep. Would you get down with that? Oh yeah, I would donate mine to Salvation Army is what I would do. <laughs> I'm thinking donate it to a trash can. <laughs> and that's ridiculous. Why did you have to go say something like that? Everybody knows you don't fit your clothes for women that are in the plus size or dudes in their plus size. He didn't need to say it. <laughs> he could have kept that to himself. Exactly, dumbass. Are you cooler than Abercrombie? Oh, you know it. Of course. <laughs> like, come on, I work at Sunglass Hut. Hey, if you're ever in Michigan, seriously, Sunglass Hut, Great Lakes Crossing, come see my girl Liz. We'll hook you up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I feel like it's completely wrong because just because you're big does not mean you're not cool at all. I have a lot of big friends that are really cool, probably way cooler than some of the skinny pretty girls because they think they're so hot. Um, and yeah, I just think it's really wrong. Big people need love too. <laughs> What's that? I said big people need love too. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's really wrong that they only hire skinny girls. You come in and they first thing they look at is your image and look you up and down and if you're not good enough they're not hiring you. That's and wrong. I think that's wrong. That yes. is. Completely wrong. Actually, um, I went in there and they kind of looked me up and down and they wanted to hire me on the spot. Really? And they didn't really even want to talk to me, nothing like that. They didn't care about my personality. They were like, you want to work here? You're hired. You're I know, pretty. you might have a crappy personality. I think yeah. you do. I think yeah. you do. Um, I can I can be kind of mean, Karma. Uh, you know what? Like the CEO um, of Abercrombie. Yes. And uh, I kind of thought it was wrong that they were like, "You're in, you're in," and they didn't give no one else a chance that really wants to go in and be their self and be a good person. Right. Oh, that's so sweet. Yes. Thank you, girls. You're welcome. No, that's not cool at all. You know what's cool? These shades, Mike. You're not. What kind of name is Abercrombie? Like, really? It's Abercrombie. Oh. And Fitch. Well. It doesn't matter. It's not cool. Man, I don't think it's right um, to discriminate on anybody's size, creed, or color for that for that matter. Um, man, big girls. I mean, everybody got money. Everybody's money is the same. Um, just gotta gotta serve everybody, not just one one clientele. You gotta be bigger than that. Why do you think he's hating on big girls? Um, I don't know. Um, maybe in the past he had a a, a prior experience to where uh. Maybe a big girl pissed them off, man. I don't know. All I know is um, can't treat everybody like that. It's not right. Um, I don't wear Amber Crombie. Does that make me not cool? Because I'm cool. <laughs> hey, it's Amber Crombie. You said Amber Crombie. <laughs> Do you know you said that, right? <laughs> it's fine. Dude. What about you? How do you feel? Who cares what the name is? Okay, I think it's unfair. And that's just not cool. I'm pretty cool. I don't wear Amber Crombie either. <laughs> And you? It's not fair. Screw Abercrombie. <laughs> Why are you saying screw Abercrombie? Because it's not nice. <laughs> That's not nice, and you're no. nice, right? Yeah, I'm a nice person. But and you're Amber. cool, right? Yeah, I'm cool, but I don't wear Abercrombie. Tell Mike that you're cool. I'm cool. No, it'd be like, Mike, I'm cool. Mike, I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thank I'm cool too, Mike. You too? I'm cool. <laughs> Thank you, girls. I don't feel it's right because um, actually, over the years, people's body types have changed. People have they're just bigger than they used to be. They're taller, they're larger, they've got uh, more muscle mass. And the sizing, uh, I believe, is a little bit archaic almost. People will come from uh, 20 years ago, people were, were thinner and smaller frame. So the sizing is not, um, it's not up to date with, with the average person anymore. And it is discriminatory in the day of age of bullying. People are already self-conscious enough that they won't have to worry about what size they wear. So they think need to be made larger, longer, taller. I'm a short person. I have almost reverse problem. And no, no, one's, no one's doing anything for me, but I mean, it's, it's just not fair. I think that it's wrong because they shouldn't discriminate against big girls, especially when he looks so ugly. He looks like a big white monkey. <laughs> what? What does he look like? A big white gorilla. <laughs> oh my God. Look at her, she's laughing. How do you feel about it? I think it's like rude because he's practically making fun of people when he's the one he should be making fun of. <laughs> I don't think that's right. Right. 
What about you? You're all quiet. I'm not that quiet. Um, I think it's get close to your crap. close to your girls. There I you go. I think it's bull crap because a lot of my friends are thicker girls and they're gorgeous and they don't want they don't want to shop there anyways. Nobody wants your whack ass clothes. They're t-shirts with a name on it. That's all it is. There's better things to buy. Why, why do you think? I've been asking people this. Why do you think he's, you know, so discriminatory against bigger girls? I don't know. How was he raised? What happened to him <laughs> that he doesn't like bigger girls when he's not that great himself, right? So. <laughs> I agree. He's not he's not that good looking. Nah. Thank you girls. Appreciate it. Um, I think he looks like an overweight woman himself with all the plastic surgery he's had done. <laughs> well, why do you think he's discriminating against bigger women? What do you think? Um, he thinks only beautiful women have to be skinny, which is not true. Right. Beautiful women don't have to be small. Thank you. I feel like it sucks because look at me. I'm gorgeous and I'm not a size 2 and I love all of his curves. So, you uh, suck. Yeah. it's more than just uh, skinny people are not the only beautiful people in the world, you know what I mean? Right. So, if you don't get that, the world has changed since whenever you were born, which was back when daddy was around, then you need to wake up to the real world. Anything, any feeling about it? Suck, man. You, you're cool, right? I'm cool. We suck. We cool and we <laughs> love ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. I believe it's extremely small-minded and it's really ridiculous that someone that's supposed to be the owner of a company that's supposed to represent America and the children of America and young adults of America is an idiot and the fact that he opened his mouth in that way is just madness. I just think it's kind of narrow-minded. It doesn't really speak to a broad market. It's uh, segmentating itself to one certain type of person. Um, if you really want to grow your company, you should be able to speak to all different types of people. So right. that's all I have on cool. Cool little head thingy or whatever. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so uh, shout out to Greg Carber. He's got the uh, Fitch the Homeless campaign going on on YouTube right now. I'm going with Fitch the Trash. Shout out to my girl Heather. She gave me some of her uh, Abercrombie clothing. Fitch the Trash. That's what I'm doing.